All right, so we're back, and we're just going to do a quick, uh, a quick demonstration of all the different boards that are available from DF Robot. Now, I'm not sure if these are all of them, but these are most of them uh, related to the Arduino line. As you can see, there's many different sizes, many different types. Um, again, as we've always stated in all of our Arduino from uh, Ar Arduino videos from DF Robot, or any Arduino for that matter, you really have to choose the right Arduino for your project. They're each very different. As you can see here, you have the Romeo. You have the Mega, you have the hard to pronounce <laughs> Dwemer Love, and you have the Nanos right over here. Um, they all serve a purpose. They all do literally identical to the same thing. However, the differences are on your expansion and how big the board is, the footprint of each one. Notice how some of these are smaller. This is the actual, this, this board here is the actual expansion on these two. These are the Nano extensions, whereas these are the actual Nanos that you're purchasing. These two boards here, they just basically plug right onto it. Now, as in this one here, you can see that the hard to pronounce controller is basically a little bit larger footprint, okay? But it's about it's actually about the same size as this one in footprint. But the difference is that the chip is actually on board and it's not separate like this one is here. It has a larger USB. The all, the other all, the other difference is also this is a shield friendly board, which is these really aren't. Uh, shield friendly means that you can mount you can purchase various shields. So like this is an IO expansion shield which easily mounts right on top of this here and it gives you additional it gives you all the ports you might have over here furthermore you can get additional shields like an XB shield like this one here and it mounts on top of just about any of these these last three is where they actually have shield support whereas these do not so whenever you see the term shield that's all they mean is just one of these shields and you can see they're usually indicted by one of these connectors here and for example here's another shield but this shield is specific to only one board this is the uh, I believe this is the IO expansion shield from DF Robot, and basically this is the this shield only works for the Mega. If you notice, the Mega has far more connectors than everybody else does. It has the typical shield connectors on the side, but it has additional plus this one on the side, which this one plugs into, as you can see. And th what this will give you is probably over it gives you over 50 or so uh, general purpose IO digital pins, plus uh, I believe it's uh, 16 analog pins and you have your basic I2C and whatnot and additional power here. Um, this board is really good for when you're doing home automation. The other difference here between these two or between all of these here, when you look at the Romeo, it has push buttons already on here, which none of the other ones really have except for the reset. Each one of these does have a reset button, smaller on the nanos, it's actually on the nano unit, it's a small micro button, but all the other ones have a reset button just like the Romeo. The difference is here you have programmable bit, uh, programmable buttons. I think it's about seven, and you also have uh, 15 or 14 general purpose I/O, and you have eight digital plus five I2C. So it's ready to go out of the box. You don't need to purchase any shields. It has what it needs. Plus you have motor controllers, Bluetooth, uh, separate uh, servo power, which this one does not, and this one does not. I believe these two do, but these do not. So that concludes this comparison of all the different uh, DF Robot Arduinos. Uh, we haven't captured all of them, but we've captured many of them, and you can see they're all very different. Take your time, read the specs, look at our reviews. It'll help you choose what you need, to, which one you need for what project you're willing to do. Whether it's home automation, robotics, it could be anything. Really, it doesn't really matter. The point is, is that you need to choose the right, the right product for the right task. Uh, take care and check out our other videos and look at all the reviews on all these and they'll give you more details on everything.